is there a nutritional difference in a fertilized egg versus a non-fertilized egg? Uh, that is a very good question. I think there is a nutritional difference, but I don't think as far as I know, having, I believe I went down that rabbit hole like a really long time ago. Um, I don't think it is, what I found was I didn't think it was significant enough in order to, um, in order to sort of like go through the exercise of really trying to find fertilized eggs. It's kind of like, um, you know, locally I can get colostrum at certain times, which is amazing and, and, and is, you know, like concentrated raw milk almost. But like, if you can't like, you know, feeding raw milk is just great in general and we'll have all essentially all the same things just in more like diluted amounts. So I think it was kind of the same thing where it was kind of like, there's probably some more benefit to it, but it just didn't vary enough to where I thought to myself, like, Oh, this is something I need to do or would give like, I think that's what we have to look at in nutrition is like, especially with new stuff is like, does this variant of something we're doing provide enough actual nutritional value or, difference to to really like get people to do it um mm -hmm. now i could be wrong there could be someone listening to this being like i'm an i'm an expert on fertilized eggs and you get all these different things but i that's i'm pretty sure that's the conclusion i reached that's pretty much what i found online as well um is that if there is any nutritional variation it's so it's like really really minimal but um like it kind of went on to talk about you know, you're, you're going to find better nutrition if you're paying more attention to like pasture raised yeah. chickens and things like yeah. that. So like focus on the right thing. That means yeah. is what it was telling me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so that's the best I can do there. <laughs>